afternoon guys um, today we're up well we're going up fleet with pike it's a bit of a gamble because all week josh has been off um, for half term and we've been looking at the weather as to when we should go but it's been terrible but for some reason it's got a little bit better today hasn't it mm -hmm. until um well until nine o'clock tomorrow morning then it starts getting a little bit fresher i think the winds get up to like 60 70 mile an hour and i think by midday it's up to like 105 but we'll be fine because we'll be home by then yep. so it's a bit of a chance but um we decided to come to fleet with pike because we did try and do it it must be about a year ago now and we parked down in uh is it gates garth car park and i asked some uh, some cotney guy which is the path for fleet with pike and he pointed that way so that's the way we went um we thought it was wrong but we kept going then we asked someone else and he said the same way but it took us all the way up to haystacks and then the wind got really bad so we ended up having to stay at the top of haystacks and uh so we never went to fleet with pike so today we're going the right way the weather's not so bad we parked down in um, Hollister Slate Mine Car Park which is only a fiver but it's actually free today for some reason because no one's here sorry about that car just flew behind us I don't actually know if you can get on that car if you look at it, look at it there it'd be a lot easier to get up the car than walking up wouldn't it Mr Man yeah. uh, Josh is sporting a, a nice Jean-Pierre French look today, aren't you, Josh? Yes. Uh, I'm going for the standard flat cap. Anyway, so yeah, I'll just show you quickly the views. You can see the car park down there. We've still got a bit to go, but this way that we're going up Fleet with the Pike is a lot easier. Well, not a lot easier, but you can go the other way from um, from Gatesgarth, Gatesgarth Car Park. Um, that goes up the other way, which is meant to only take an hour, but it's like super steep. I think it's like 500 meters that way. Whereas you come up this way, it's like 200 meters. So Josh suggested going this way. It's going to be a little bit easy on the old knees anyway, uh, and it's not too bad. So I'll leave you there, and we will see you at the top. See you soon, guys. Say bye, Joss. Bye. Bye bye.
a bit soggy, but we're getting there. We're not far. Look. Just got to go up to there, and then we're done. Evening guys, we've got up here. It wasn't too much of a slog to get up here. Although I will have a little bit of a whinge about the Ordnance Survey app because every single time I go out, I try to follow the little red paths up here or wherever I'm going. And for some reason, I always get lost. Whether that's me or the map or the app, I don't know. But uh, that path we came up was definitely not on the, yeah, no. the app. And the path that it did send us through was, uh, it's like a sign with like a skull and crossbow would say that um danger no entry shooting so and like a little tunnel um so we didn't go there so we came all the way around so if you guys know a better route what feet with pike uh leave it leave it in the comments but this only took us about an hour and 20 minutes i'll show you the views quickly and then we're gonna question mr edwards about his knowledge of buttermere um, which I'm sure you'll all be very impressed about, won't you, Mr. Edwards? Yeah, on. Come on, Mr. Edwards. Right, I'm going to turn around and you're going to see. So, the first stretch of water. That's Buttermere. Buttermere. Is Buttermere. it Buttermere? Very good. Yeah. What's the next stretch? And then that's Crow Quarter. Then, what's the fell to the right? And then that's Rally Down Knots. And the one. And then you've got Buttermere Moss. Oh. And then you've got um, the Haystacks over there. That's Haystacks. Uh, it's that high style. Do you know what? I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, we're up at the top. It's not too windy, so we're going to get the drone out in a minute. We've got the tent down here and everything is looking good. Fingers crossed. See you in a bit, guys.
Evening folks, um, we thought we'd just say a little bit more on Fleetworth Pike um, before we get to bed. It's about, what time is it now? Um, it's 17 past 8. It's very early, I think that's the thing about the clocks going back last week. Um, the sun started going down, I think, at about half past four. So we kind of have to let, we, we, we left. Um, Time did we leave about midday? 11. No, it wasn't, it was midday. I 12 o'clock, yeah, and it took two and a half hours, so we got here for half two, and then um, it took us about an hour and so to get up here. And by the time we set the tent, <laughs> we were starting to get darkish. Um, we need quite, quite lucky, really, because the weather's not actually that bad. It's getting a bit windier now, but um, we've had no rain, and it's been quite nice. It was a little bit nippy before, but. Um, You've done all right, haven't you, Josh? Yeah. Josh likes to sit there saying, yeah, and, and nod his little head. But um, no, it's all good, I think. I think the thing is we're going to go to bed early because um, I think we need to be up around six, six in the morning, because around six, well, around three in the morning, it gets, um, starts to get more windy, starts to throw down around 3 a.m. Around 6 a.m., I think the winds are around 55 mile an hour. So, um, We'll need to pack the tent away, start making our way down, which is not to be fair, it, it, it's not actually that hard to get down. It was quite easy, wasn't yeah. it? Josh is not allowed to say yeah. The next word he has to be something else other than yeah. But it, it wasn't too hard. I don't think Josh minded it. I think he's got he's got a new bag and I don't think he was happy with the new bag, were you? That's all right. You said it was hurting your shoulder. Yeah, I need to adjust it. it hurt your shoulder, <laughs> you said. A little bit too heavy for my <laughs> little son. Too heavy. Um, but it's nice out there. The, the sunset was quite nice. That was over by Haystacks. That, that was lovely. Um, over the top, if you look outside now, we've got a full moon. And um, there's, there's a few stars out. It's not perfectly clear, but um, there's a few stars out. So we might have a time lapse and some star photography nothing outrageous because I'm, I'm just not at that outrageous level yet but i'm getting there slowly but surely and we've got our booties on look at them our little old boots feel very chavvy but they're keeping our feet warm aren't they they're nice do you like them josh yes. keep your feet warm and that's the main thing anyway folks we will see you in the morning um all being well Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Morning, guys. It's, uh, it's only quarter to three in the morning. <laughs> it's getting windy. Like, it's super windy. That, that's my eye mask. That. Um, and I've just checked the weather. By six in the morning, it's going to be like 75 mile an hour winds. So I think. We're gonna bite the bullet and um, get down to the car before it gets any worse. It's not like we're gonna sleep. Whoops, see it's blowing it over there. Um, it's not like we've had any sleep the last hour. It's just got windier and windier and windier as it goes. So I think sometimes we just have to be a bit safer and make the way down to the car. To be fair, it's quite easy to get down to the car. It's like it's only like a bit off path and then. We've got head torches and stuff, so I think that's what we're going to do. So, see you later, guys. Uh, maybe we'll speak to you when we're back to the car just to let you know that we got this. So, yeah. <laughs> see you later.
this. Wow. Um, I said I'd speak to you once we got back to the car. That was a nightmare. That really was a nightmare. We got totally and utterly lost. A journey that should have took us an hour. It took us about three hours. About three hours. And I tell you what, there was many a point then where I thought I was going to go break down and cry because that uh, the, the, the alternate survey the app it lets you down so much it, it loses signal even though we downloaded the maps it did it loses it. it was sending us around in circles down to waterfalls at one point I, I thought I was going to break down um, thanks to Olight though because Olight torches were immense weren't they yeah. they kept us safe right to the end and we, we finally did get back but I tell you what you're looking around and you're seeing these sheep and they look like scary little zombies and you see it all sorts and there was we, we were worried that we wouldn't go back got back to the car but we did didn't we josh we made it back so now lesson learned never abort in the dark just just sit it out um but it, it's crazy the windy's now it's so windy down here and i think it must be about 50 60 down here so it was getting crazy at the top so probably the lesson learned is not to go wild camping when it was windy well as windy as what it was it was nice last night though but it went patient anyway we're back safe and now we're going to set off home so give us a like and subscribe take care see you later goodbye <laughs>